Hello everyone, my name is John Gibson and I'm delighted today to be wearing my United to Prevent Suicide top. Delighted because I believe passionately that we need to be united to prevent suicide. We need to pull all our charities and organisations involved in suicide together to make an impact and to save lives. It's my delight to talk to you today about United to Prevent Suicide and for the good work that we are doing, particularly because on the 20th of October 2019, two police officers came to our door to inform me that our youngest son, Cameron, was dead and that he had died by suicide. And so we, me, the wider Gibson family, were catapulted into this strange new world, um, a shocking place to be, a place where two and a half years further on, there is still brokenness and still carnage. And so the first thing I want to say today is if you are someone who is struggling with issues of suicide and suicidal thinking, can I ask you please, to find help. Can I ask you please to find a safe space and to do that urgently? Because it's my greatest desire since Cameron died that there would not be one more life lost to suicide. The picture of Cameron behind me would tell you something of him. He was a young veterinary surgeon, 24 years old with no apparent history at all of psychological disturbance. In fact, quite the opposite. Those who knew him would tell you that he was the life and soul of the party. He lit up a room uh, when he came into it. And yet something happened um, in his mind, perhaps, um, in the early hours of the 20th of October, 2019. And he decided that this world was no longer a place that he wanted to be. And I find that so difficult. I find that um, such a concept to struggle with. And, and so I say again that if, if you are an individual struggling with those thoughts, struggling with those feelings, would you please reach out and, and, and seek help from a friend, from a neighbour, from a work colleague, or from one of our national organisations or charities? It's really important that you do that. It's really important that we pull together um, as a country, um, as a community, to ensure that we stop the carnage of suicide. If, if I could take you just for one moment um, into the carnage that the Gibson family have faced, if I could show you for a moment what has gone on inside my broken heart and inside my broken head, then perhaps you would understand for a moment the passion with which I come to suicide prevention. It's so important that uh, we work hard together um, to reduce and stop the numbers of suicide. Wouldn't it be a remarkable and wonderful ambition for us as a country to say that we wanted to stop suicide completely? And so back to Cameron. Cameron was a young man who loved life. He was someone who loved the great outdoors. He loved Monroe bagging. He loved kayaking. He loved surfing. He loved cycling. He loved walking. And so his death has been utterly shocking and very, very difficult to, to deal with. We love Cameron very much. Uh, as a family, we honour his memory. But in honouring his memory, there is no comparison to having Cameron in the room with us at our family meetings, at our family celebrations, at our family dinners, times when he should be there and he's not. And so United to Prevent Suicide is such an important organisation uh, to pull us all together in an attempt to reduce the numbers of suicide in Scotland. It's also my great uh, privilege to be part of the lived experience panel of the National Suicide Prevention Leadership Group, a great initiative in Scotland that I believe um, is causing significant uh, change 
within the way that we look at suicide and the way that our structures um, deal with suicide prevention. One of my great desires is that every school pupil in Scotland would be equipped with a suicide prevention strategy, that they would learn what the skills are when any suicidal thoughts come their way um, to deal with those thoughts. So suicide prevention planning as an educational tool is very, very important and one that I hope in Scotland we will start to endorse and, and start to run with across our secondary school sector, but also into schools and universities and workplaces. And so as you will understand, there's some passion in my belly um, about suicide prevention. And for that reason, on the 13th of June this year, uh, I and a small group of friends um, set off to walk from Land's End to John O'Groats. On social media, it's hashtag one man walking, a million talking. And it's exactly that purpose that we're setting off with to open up the whole conversation around suicide, to bring it into the light so that the shame and the difficulty around suicide is something that we start to banish and we start to bring into the light for open conversation to help those who are caught up with suicidal thinking and suicidal planning. And so if you're able, I would love you to walk with me um, you'll see all of the details on hashtag one man walking a million talking. Join the journey, come and walk with us for half a day, for an hour, for a whole day, for a week if you want. Um, and be part of that conversation as it develops, as we walk um, from the bottom southwest of England right up to the top of Scotland. Come and be part of the conversation. And if you can't physically do that, please join us online. Please join us uh, to open up conversations in your own families, with your own sons, with your own daughters, with your own mums, with your own dads. Um, and let's get this conversation going and let's be absolutely united to prevent suicide. Thank you so much for listening.